Another layer to a bizarre murder and kidnapping case in Jackson County today. The man facing charges is behind bars tonight. Welcome back. I'm Connor Board and I'm Chase Gallimore. Renata DiGregorio has been following this case since the beginning when a body was found buried last month. Renata, what's the latest? Right, Chase. Well, today we heard from the lead investigator who found that body. He read statements of what witnesses say supposedly happened that led up to this man being killed by someone he'd allegedly never met. Brandon Berry is charged with the murder and kidnapping of David Rivamonte. He'd been missing out of Huntsville for two weeks before his remains were found off County Road 86 in Woodville. Two witness statements read in court by the lead investigator tell a story of Rivamonte coming into contact with Barry and several other people, Rivamonte telling them he's a child rapist, and eventually Barry taking one man's truck, another man's gun, disappearing with Rivamonte, and coming back alone. The statements allege Barry shot Rivamonte in the head. The lead investigator claims he was shown a picture sent by Barry of what appeared to be a dead person in a blue tarp. He says a blue tarp was uncovered with Rivamonte's body. It's a large county, but we usually only have one or two murders a year. Both the prosecution and defense would not give any comment, but the chief deputy well, with the sheriff's office was hearing, also in the courtroom. And, uh, uh, we were happy with the results. The judge found there was probable cause to charge. Uh, the arrested defendant, Mr. Barry. During the hearing, the defense called the statements hearsay and questioned the strength of the investigation they say is based on hearsay upon hearsay. The defense didn't get their way Wednesday. Is there a lot more to do? Oh, absolutely. There's always a lot to do on a murder case. But the investigation continues. The judge also ruled not to reduce Barry's bond. The prosecution listed his criminal history and said they believed that if he made bond and was released, he wouldn't show up to court. His defense says that it's hard for them to meet while he's in jail to prove he's innocent. Putting the Valley first, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News.